Welcome to the Healthy Living Sessions podcast, where we talk about more than just health and fitness. We talk about many aspects of life. While fitness and health are important, there's more to life than just the gym. You ever wonder why some things cost so much more than others and they seem to be the exact same thing? Well, one is probably because of the brand that's being built behind whatever it is. Uh, that you're you're purchasing, but also it's based on the service you're getting. You know, for instance, when you go into a Nordstrom, you get somebody personal there. They're helping you out. They learn your name. They ask you what you like. They're trying to help you try on, you know, if you're trying on jackets or something like suits, you know, they're over there putting the suit jacket on you, helping you take it off, you know, all that stuff. They're running in and getting you another size. They're doing all this stuff to cater to you. So, yes, it costs a little bit more there. I mean, the quality of the clothing's probably better than, you know, Walmart. I'm sure it is. Uh, but also, the workers there are there to cater to you. They're there to help you. And so that's why what part of what you're paying for. In the same way with services. And when I was actually getting my hair cut today, I saw this little sticker on the, the barber's mirror, and it says, good work ain't cheap, cheap work ain't good. And that is so true. You know, if you want to find good quality work, it's not going to be cheap. And it may not be outrageous, but it will be more expensive than cheap work will be. You know, I've really enjoyed going here to this this barber today, and he was quite a bit more expensive than where I had been going. I've been going to a more corporate haircut place. And, okay, yeah, I get out, get in and out really quick at the corporate place, but, you know, I kind of tell him what I want to do, and then they're like, okay, and then they don't really ask any more questions. You know, at the end, they'll ask the courtesy question, oh, what do you think? And then, you know, if I want it a little bit shorter or something, then I tell them, and then they fix it a little bit more. And then it's like, okay, thanks, you know, well, have a good one. And then you pay, and you leave. You know, here, this guy was telling me, you know, so what exactly are you looking for? And, okay, yeah, yeah, so we'll we'll probably do this or that. Because I was wanting my hair to get faded up to the top and get a hard part in it and stuff. And he was explaining exactly. He's like, yeah, I mean, I can see where you had the last hard part. And then he's like, I think that's a pretty good spot. And then after he did the hard part, he said, you know, he didn't mean the pun behind it. But he's like, I moved it down a hair. <laughs> it kind of made me laugh. But, you know, he let me know, hey, I, I moved it a little bit just so you're aware. You know, and I've blended it in. But because I moved it, some of these hairs are still a little shorter. So you might have a little problem with that. And then when he did the fade... He was like, well, hey, you know, I got a weird head, got a big head, whatever. But, you know, he was letting me know. He didn't tell me I had a big head. I'm the one that said that. But, you know, he let me know, hey, you know, your head kind of comes out a little bit more here than up closer to the top and stuff. So we did a, a mid fade instead of a high um, high fade or something like that. Anyways, he, he told me what it was. I already forgot. I don't know hair style lingo but anyways he let me know exactly why he did what he did and you know it was really informative you know I'm not gonna be able to go back and <laughs> be able to cut somebody else's hair but you know if I don't get him again or whatever may happen I can tell him hey you know I, I this is where we were at this is where we did start doing the fade or whatever and really can help out uh, for the next person so I can get the same quality haircut and I can sound like I somewhat know what I'm talking about and so I can get exactly what I want. And so, yes, I paid a, a bit more for this haircut with this guy, but he did such a better job. And this is one thing, especially with the new year, I'm really trying to work on is paying more for quality. My girlfriend gives me, well, now fiance, um, gives me a hard time all the time about being so cheap. 
you know, I am so guilty when it comes to not wanting to pay for a, a lot of things, you know, items or services, whatever it might be. I really don't want to pay a lot for it. And, you know, I'm starting to realize that I need to start paying a little extra. You know, one thing my fiance always says, it's kind of a running joke with us now, but it does hold a lot of truth to it, is that it only costs a little bit more for first class. It only costs a little bit more for that extra quality. And that extra little bit of quality that only costs a little bit more money is a huge difference at the end of it. And, you know, with that, thinking about how I'm not, you know, if I'm not willing to pay extra for some better quality, you know, how can I expect that out of other people? So if you're kind of like me and you're just really cheap and don't want to hardly pay for anything, you know, maybe think about that. You know, if you're not willing to pay much for an item or service, how can you expect other people to want to pay you very much for anything you offer, whether it be now or be in the future? You know, whether it's some kind of item you're trying to sell or if it's a service you're trying to sell. If you're not willing to pay a decent amount, now I'm not saying anything outrageous. I believe there are some things out there that are crazy. I remember I went to some shoe store. I can't remember. Um, I went to the shoe store and it looked like some kind of croc sandal and it had jewels all over it. And it was like a Tory Burch croc sandal thing, ugly as can be. And it was like $250. And I was just flabbergasted by that I could not believe it was that much but that goes to show what a brand can do for pricing and now I'm not saying to go for something like that I mean if you like it whatever that's on you but I'm not saying to go spend an outrageous amount of money especially if you don't have the money for something but go ahead and spend a little extra to really get that good quality and know that when you spend that little bit extra that it's going to last you a lot longer. It's kind of like with furniture. You know, if you just get the cheapest furniture, probably in a couple of years you're going to have to replace it. But if you spend an extra 20%, 30% on your furniture, it tends to last a lot longer. And so that's with, you know, that's with items. And so the same thing with services. You know, like I mentioned with the guy that gave me the haircut, I felt so much better leaving there in a, in a almost... I mean, I was in a good mood already, but I felt like really good afterwards. They had, you know, a fresh haircut and this guy was, you know, really paid attention to me and let me know exactly what was going on. And, you know, I don't get that same feeling from the corporate haircut places. And especially in our internet world we're in now, we've been in for a long time. There's so much traffic and so much noise out there. You have to separate yourself some way. And, Providing that extra little bit of service is what's going to separate you from everyone else. So you need to think about that whenever you're getting ready to go into sales or marketing or whatever it may be. If you're getting ready to embark in some endeavor, you need to think about what little extra can I add to make what I'm doing better. I guarantee there's somebody else out there already doing the same thing that you're doing. There's not new a ton of new ideas coming out every day so just think about that think about the service you want to provide um we're going back to the the main thing of this podcast the main theme is you pay for what you get so make sure if you want to get something a little bit better quality just go ahead and pay that little extra it's going to be worth it in the end those clothes that you pay a little bit extra for are going to be so much better for you in the end. And one thing with me talking about all this, I'm really afraid my fiance is going to listen to this and I'm always going to have to go a little bit extra now, but that's all right. You know, she's helping me. I'll say it that way. She's helping me, um, buy better quality and do things of better quality. So we all need somebody in our lives like that to help us, 
progress, you know, to do things a little bit better. So just make sure when you're going out there and you're looking at items or services to remember that, yes, it may be a little bit more expensive, but it's worth it in the end because good work or good things aren't cheap. And cheap work or things aren't good. They're not going to last long. They're not going to be near as good of quality. So just keep that in mind whenever you're going out this weekend, whenever you're needing to go get a haircut, whatever it may be, whatever you're trying to do, just think about that and how if you spend just a little bit more, you'll get 10 times better quality. Thank you all for listening to the podcast today. I hope it was impactful to you. If you feel you have a friend that can get value from this episode, share it with them. Also, please review and subscribe to this podcast. I can't get this message out without your help. Until next time, have a blessed and healthy day.